Hello and welcome back to Spiritfall. At the end of last episode, we unlocked one of the new alternate forms for one of the weapons, which is essentially just a brand new weapon, to be honest. Um, so this is the ham axe, which is now a hammer and an axe. And we have the best move in the game, which is just a belly flop. It's pretty hilarious. So we're running with um, Sharbora, which is the healing deer mask and we're just going to kind of grab whatever we come across all of your cooldowns are faster i actually really am partial to that so we're going to grab that first and probably avoid Ooh, there's a whole list of sh that's interesting i think i'm gonna go up the left side because i like the it's a weird thing to say but i like the lack of choice i i have not used these yet i will say um i have tried them a little bit in the like training dojo kind of thing just to see what all of their attacks are just so that i'm aware of their attacks but that's like all i know about them so far i will say though that i am kind of partial to them and i will say i did want to comment on something that i heard someone comment recently on is that at during one of my previous videos i mentioned there being some grinding and i, I want to make sure that people are aware this is not a grindy game the quote-unquote grinding that I was going to mention is the fact that, like, you know, there's a new update and there's new content with that update. And I was more curious if people wanted to see that the new content as fast as possible or if people wanted to see all of my runs. And I had some mixed reviews on that, so I think I'm just going to, you know, take my own best judgment at that. Um, but I do want to reiterate, Spiritfall is not a grindy game. If you grind this game, you're not going to get any stronger, per se. You might get some things that kind of potentially add damage in very specific situations, but there is no 5% damage, 5% HP. There's none of that stuff. The strength that you'll get is from having more options in the run and having more variety in the run, because like most games, they don't want to just throw every single option at you right at the beginning, because that kind of creates choice paralysis in most people. A Zealous Heart is a good starting thing. This is all... Uh, healing sources heal from more. I will say the fact that we're doing Sharborough does kind of increase our chance for runs. Not because it's super strong, per se, but because Sharborough is kind of like the you're playing tanky kind of thing. Ah! Trying to get out of the way, and I actually did dodge it, and then I proceeded to not dodge it after. I will have to say, I'm kind of already a fan of this weapon. Sorry, big dude. Um, attack to see more damage, inflict wounded. Happily, we'll take that. Wounded is um, basically a stacking debuff that says that they will take a higher chance of crits. If I remember correctly how that works. This weapon is a dual wielding weapon that I will say actually follows the like aspect of being the hammers quite well in the fact that like instead of having a lot of like like fast attacks it has a and, and long combos it has a few attacks that tend to launch things and it has that same kind of launcherness of the hammer and to be honest like because it's kind of a relatively quick weapon still i'm actually kind of a big fan of the hammer too so this was a natural progression for me howling bolt's pretty good but i like the base crit chance better for this because I do attack frequently. Then we'll take a luminous gem here. One thing that's kind of interesting that I'm seeing about this weapon is that like you kind of have to plan out your smashes a little bit more because the first part of your smash doesn't do a lot. Um... You kind of have to wait out. It's like it's like uh, Link from Smash Brothers. You kind of have to wait out the second part of your smash in order for your smash to actually be effective. Oh, I like that attack. What was that? Oh, that was my up air from. I mean, if I can get some wall splat damage, the wall splats on this are baller. 30% increased health effects. Nice. Damage during a nice boss fight. Don't really think I need that. 
A sensible defeating enemies is pretty good, though. Go ahead and take this. Missed him on the timing there. Might be able to carry him off the top. Yep, we can. Ow. That hurts my soul. I did that to myself. I got a little overly enthusiastic trying to carry him off and I just walked off the top. To be honest, the other game that I play that's like this is Smash Brothers and you can't kill yourself that way. So to be honest, I'm actually a little bit unused to that in our concept. Wow, she's really good at countering aerials now. I am just walking into her attacks. He has a block? It's when? Is that a new attack that got added? And I or have I just literally never seen it? Yeah, she's blocking now. Yeah, someone let me know. Is that a new attack or have I just managed to never see that attack before? Yeah. Got a essence, but we didn't get a perennial ash. Hmm. What causes perennial ashes to spawn then? Is it like beating a boss for the first time? Holding launcher increases power. Whenever you hit with perfect launcher, it receives extra damage. I do actually think attack is going to be better on this to a certain degree. We want a relic. Her. We do well enough on this run, and we kind of get lucky with some of the loot that we get. There's a good chance that, like, the grinding doesn't matter anyways, because, you know, it only took us one run to get this hammer. So we didn't even have to grind in the first place. And whenever I say grind, it's just like, you know, it's not really grinding. I'm just doing more runs. Uh, yeah, we're going to sacrifice HP. Plus 100 dust. Zealous Heart got a rarity increase. Happy to take that. We want some Sharboro because... We don't have any of the powerful stuff from Sharboro yet. I really am a huge fan of this up there. And this down there. They're both very good. I like that the down air like actually gives me more air. It's the exact opposite of the other hammer down air. Base hammer down air. Because the base hammer down air is like a sheet launch. You just you eat, your, you eat yourself at the ground as fast as possible. We want. Uh, I'll take a scroll. I haven't taken that many scrolls. Admit launcher. That'll help. Helps only a little bit, but it'll help. Take another blessing here. Another sharp row, happily. Impervious Dash. Yeah, I think we'll take Impervious Dash because the other two don't help us that much. Oh, good. It also took us over to the Hidden Rift. I actually was thinking that the Hidden Rift was going to be up top there. Okay.
Beautiful. Icicle Rain is fantastic and actually just recently got a buff. They're bigger and they show up higher up, I think. Um, once that enemy shield's broken, uh, deals reduced damage. Bonus half the dense boss enemies. Uh, we'll take the... This is, um... Uh, what is that? Venusaur. <laughs> Venusaur Bolt Attack. I'll take the Relic Chest because I'm not having any trouble healing. Yeah, look at how strong that that uh, assist attack is. Wait, do I get multiple charges of this? I need to pay attention to stop taking so much damage. That was an interesting interaction. I managed to somehow stack them on the same place. And all of the new weapons have been so good so far. I'm really, ha I'm really excited to get um, the the new fists now. Because I, I never fists were kind of my least favorite of the weapons in the previous, like previous patches. I'll say, I guess. Playing a bit of a l little bit of a mage build, to be honest. I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I'm a huge fan of these weapons. Both of the new weapons are very, uh, at least two of the three weapons that I've tried so far are very good. Assistance cooldown, you do more critical damage. I want to do more critical damage all the time. Uh, this should heal me for a bunch because of Sharboro. It did. And then Celesh might have some synergies. Bird of Prey, extra air jumps. Additional stacks of status events. I'm good with that because that it stacks more of my crits then. And then I have plus three maximum crits. So I should be able to get a pretty good amount of crits off. right into that guy. Guy's dead. That guy's dead? Yep. Wasn't really the best guy to leave for last, but that's okay. Wow. Wow, these just juggle bosses so easily. Well, I mean, it won't work on some of the later bosses because they have a like a thing where they can get out of combos. But, oh, wow. I just wrecked that guy at the end. Perfect launcher creates a ranged projectile. I mean, that's probably what we're going to get here. Yeah. And then I think... Holding launcher doesn't really help too much. I like the idea of focused attack, though. And then we'll go ahead and take extra launcher damage as well. My launcher kind of already takes a really long time, so the idea of holding it for even longer just didn't seem that good.
These are juggle weapons, for sure. Really juggle weapons. Um, yeah, we definitely want a lot more attack. Let's go for Mishfed. Maybe there's a synergy. I don't know. I don't know most of the synergies at this point. Later rooms get a little hard, man. Sitting here, like, realizing that I, I have been, like, full focusing. I'm still taking a few hits. Shatter. Frost-inflicted enemies receive massive massive shield damage from your attacks while you are poised. Funny thing is, we have Sharborough and we have a few Mishfed. We don't have any poise or frost. But we can start, start trying to get it. Um, attack speed, movement speed, essence... Eh, let's skip today. There's another Sharboro there. Actually, we might have poise on our deck. We have poise on our our heavy attack. Our launcher. I can tell because the green outline shows up around us. Oh boy. Just really just tanking our way through blows. That's kind of what Sharbro ends up doing. Ooh, we're going to take the rift anyways. Even though the Sharbro kind of was a good idea for us. Did I kill him? Yeah. I was facing the wrong direction. I guess we do have some frost, actually. There we go. Man, it's so easy to kill these guys with this build. Feeble. Wounded enemies have a higher chance to re receive special damage per stack when you are poised. That will actually come up. And relic chest poise affects uh fats persist after the abilities are over that's very good for what we got going so far it's not amazing it's, it's not like life-changing but it's very good then we're gonna take the mishfit over there see if we can get some uh see if we can get uh what am i looking for? what's the word i'm looking for here some frost that's what That was a very well-timed dodge, and I don't know if I could repeat it. Apparently I can. Ah, come on. We need these because we need a bunch of combat runes. Sweet spot deals increased damage. Happily. And then we want Mishfed for more frost.
go ahead and kill that guy with my... My, uh... What's that thing called? My bolt. <laughs> the bonus damage to striking on damaged enemies. I wish I had a reroll. A reroll would be nice in this game. I love how well this 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 particular weapon strings together its combos. It just feels very natural with this weapon. Probably because it's actually pretty similar to some of the characters I actually play, so. I mean in Smash. It actually combos almost the same way that Wolf does with his... I mean, I get a lot more air whenever I do this, but I get the same kind of, like, continuing to follow up on people. There's my combat rune. I need two more of those. Echoing Bolt bounces off walls. That's really good. Get hit during any poison attack, getting increased damage for two seconds. They rotate the Echoing Bolt because I like the bounce off walls. Should be able to take basically everything here. In song, assist on cooldown, you do more critical damage. I'll take the bonus damage after they miss. Um, dodge chance after dash is pretty good. I'll go ahead and just take the healing because this boss can be kind of hard sometimes. I don't know what I'm saying with can. This boss is often hard. See, this is what I'm talking about with the fact that they have uh, anti-juggle mechanics. They will only stay vulnerable for so long. I am... Despite everything, I am doing work on this guy, though. Yes! Got him with the bouncing bolts. No perennial ash! Huh. I'm not sure how to get the perennial ash anymore. Old flame hunters. Slay enemies before your launcher, you get 1% HP. Side attack deals 100% damage and stuns attack enemies for longer. And we get even more attack damage. Um, wait, this is our last one, so we might want to... Perfect launcher. Yeah, launcher does 30% more damage. This is our last one, so, like, we just go ahead and grab it, right? Um, I'm gonna go for more Sharboro. We healed the full over that level. That's pretty crazy. Buy out of stress. Whenever you recover HP, gain bonus damage. 
I like the recovering HP for bonus damage thing. Warner will start needing to take other blessings though. Um, probably Mishfed for Frost. This will give us the ability to break shields faster. I love that you just face flop whenever you miss this down air. go beautifully done ended up with almost no hp loss at the end lost and lost frost inflicted enemies spread that flop lost frost wow i can't say that word today frost to nearby enemies ice shards frost inflicted enemies hit by your attack or launch a release of piercing ice shard i mean yeah that's kind of fantastic this should be a yep rift Dodge, lady. She's really light. So we can probably take her off the top. That means she doesn't dodge us. Man, I cannot hit her with the third attack of that. There we go. Man. That was surprisingly hard. There we go. Kind of have to hit, hit her with an angle there. Beautiful. Last one was, was was very clean, very clean. Um, critical damage per stack. Let's go up to five percent per stack instead of three. Celeste has some pretty interesting stuff to do with sass pets, which we apply a lot of. So, and if there is something that boosted down attacks and up attacks in this build. Um, I think that's mostly in... Yeah, it's in um, the water guy. I forgot his name right now. We could have gotten some of his stuff. We really like this up attack, down attack. Incandescence. Incandescence is kind of amazing. Basically, every time our uh, counter is above 1.5, we're going to basically explode as we get more uh, combo counter. It basically weaponizes our combo counter. And then I immediately lost most of my combo counter. But there you go. See, you can see him catching fire. Find one of them, I think. There 
There we go. Can we get a rune? We can. That is four. So we would only need a perennial ash now. I think two of them. Ice shards seek enemies and deal increased damage. That sounds amazing. Uh, yeah, let's go for a luminous gem. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Beautiful, beautiful combos. Gain more essence. Spirit blessing will be higher rarity. I'm good with that. Let's see, attacks, do more damage. Prevent a wave of enemies from spawning. I don't really want that. Oh, this is free. Sure. I'll take that one. Didn't matter anyways, because we had enough money and um we're right about to have a boss. So we'll take the dodge chance for the boss. And then... You hit or break an enemy shield. Yeah, we'll take that. Hey! Perennial Ash, boss fight. Omen Forge, I've been waiting. It does not matter how far you come, you cannot not stop the order. I'm going to try, though. Jeez, um, okay. I am not doing a good job of dodging this guy. Oh, I was behind him. Damn it. Okay. Ah. Okay, we have two printing ashes and four, um... What are they called? Four combat runes. 15% or more like, uh, 15% or less HP, you deal 15% more bosses. And so if anyone's ever under, under wondering, this is the only real planet progression you get. And most of this stuff is like, yeah, press that before you hit a surface to re recover stun, gain recovery um, of an attack. This is like basically unlocking a lot of very small mechanics of like your character actually being better at combat, right? That's um, and there's a few in here that give you specific things. Like, if you have Essence Multiplier, you do extra damage to bosses. You, your Bolt does increase damage to stunned enemies. None of these are just straight, you're stronger at the game now kind of things. You have to still just get good at the game. I think we're done with Ordinances, at least for the time being. That's cool. 
So the next weapon we want to do is we want to awaken this one. We can do. And then we want to unlock the alternate form. So with five and two, that means that we'll probably have to do at least one more run. And I think we have to win a run because I'm starting to notice that the perennial ash seems to be... Maybe it's weapon specific, but it seems to be... Like based on getting a certain levels of challenge levels, right? With a particular weapon. We haven't actually managed to clear challenge level one yet, to be honest. Uh, but we will do the next run with the with the fists so that people can see what the basic fists look like. Um, just as like a bit of a refresher. And then th theoretically, we will be able to get the upgraded fists after one run, as long as I do well. And uh, after that, you guys will be able to see the new fists that come from the update. Anyways, this has been Spherifall. I've been uh, Rima. I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. It helps me out a lot knowing that you guys are actually enjoying this and want to see more. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.